So good morning. It is Coach Erica here, your friendly and fabulous online personal trainer and menopause coach. Today we're talking all things swimming and pool. So I encourage a lot of people to either swim or take water aerobics or something similar for a variety of reasons. Number one, if people have chronic injuries um, or issues with like their knees, they can't necessarily do high impact um, exercise. Swimming and water aerobics are a great way to increase your heart and lung strength, work on that cardiovascular endurance, as well as build strength, particularly with water aerobics, in a way that is very gentle, non-jarring, and still provides resistance training. And I hear a lot of reasons why people don't want to get in the pool. Um, take a lesson, guys. Take a class. Dive in. Be out in the sunshine. But one of the re reasons I hear most often is that it dries out their skin. They don't like the way it makes them feel. It's a pain in the butt, blah, blah, blah. So the bottom line is if you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. But if you're curious about how I keep myself from feeling super dry and gross from swimming at least twice a week, in a very dry environment, I live in the high desert, um, then this is what I do. So maybe it will help you if you are interested in swimming um, or doing water aerobics or any of those things, but you have some issues with dryness. So first of all, <clears throat> I always take a shower at the pool. It's just like, it doesn't seem as like such a big idea if you get out of the pool and immediately take a shower. It's just part of the process. And there's a few things that I do. Number one, I use this product, which is called Try Hard um, After Swim Body Wash. I notice a big difference in my skin not being so like dry and ashy and gross after I started using this um, because it is specifically formulated to get rid of the chlorine and all the other chemicals from the pool. It also is paraben free, alcohol free, SLS free. Um, I try to use as many products as I can, paraben free, phthalate free. Um, I have someone in my family who has alopecia randomly. They don't know why, which means they started losing their hair. I think one reason is potentially because of all the chemicals. So I'm trying because they don't know if it's genetic or not. I'm trying uh, to avoid stuff that has those hard harmful chemicals. Not everything I use has it, but you know, I do what I can do. So number one, this try hard after swim. I use this body wash in the shower at the pool. Big difference in how dry my skin feels. So that's number one. Number two, try swim also uses a shampoo and conditioner, has a shampoo and conditioner. I actually forget to use this and I use my regular one, um, which is a high moisturizing, paraben free, phthalate free, shampoo and conditioner that I honestly just get at Walmart and it's for ethnic hair because I have curly hair. So that works really well for me, but I do want to try this Try Swim shampoo and conditioner because I have such good luck with this one that I feel like this will probably help get the junk out of my hair as well. So that's number two that I use, but this one for sure, you have to get it online. Helps your skin a lot. I noticed a big difference. Um, afterwards, after I get out of the pool, I use, oh, the lotion. I forgot my lotion. So the only lotion that I found that works really well for me in this super dry environment, especially after the pool, is by Shea Moisture. I don't like a lot of um, scents, and I don't like uh, things that feel oily on my skin. So I have the Coconut Oil Shea Moisture Lotion. I get that online as well. You can get it at Target too. It's super thick. You can't even hardly get, it has a pump, which doesn't even work. Um, it's so thick, which is slightly annoying, but overall, I love that product. I use it every day, not just when I swim, but again, big difference in how dry my skin feels since using those two products, the After Swim and the Shea Moisture. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these. These are just products that I like to use. Um, if I remember, I use an eye gel afterwards for my goggle marks um it just moisturizes this one is also by the same company it's try hard honestly i can't really tell the difference if this works versus any other eye cream but it just gives some moisture um, and helps with your goggle marks so i also use that when i remember i don't always remember if i don't remember after the pool i put it on at night then i go into my face my face um routine I don't spend a lot of money on products except for on my face. 
Um, so I use all Elta MD for sensitive skin, not necessarily phthalate three and all that free and all that stuff, but I have extremely sensitive skin. So this was recommended to me by a dermatologist and I've used it ever since because it works so well. Toner. I never understood when I lived in Orange County why anyone would need a toner because there's so much humidity in the air you don't need it there. However, when I moved to the mountains, I understand now why people need a toner. So I always put toner on first right out of the pool shower. In the morning, I use after the toner, this AM therapy, it gives some extra moisture. And then every day, no matter whether I'm swimming or not, but especially when I'm swimming or I'm outside, I use the Elta MD Broad Spectrum SPF 47 on my face. This is a super heavy cream. It is um, mineral based with zinc oxide. And you want a mineral based sunscreen, especially for your face, not a chemical based sunscreen. Mineral based is good because the zinc is actually a physical barrier against the skin. I had very bad brown spots at one point and the dermatologist said, if I wear this all the time, even inside, because all kinds of light brings those dark spots out, then they will go away and they did. And I've used this faithfully ever since. As you can see zinc, it's not like the old school zinc where it's white, it blends in. I use this all the time. So this is a really good one, but it is a little bit drying, which is why I use the other stuff first. Then that's it for in the morning. At night, I repeat the toner. I have a P and I have a PM that I use, especially after I'm swimming um, to help at night. Seems like a lot, but it's really not that bad. Then for my feet. So this is the other thing I noticed in the summer being at the pool a lot is I start to get really cracked feet. Um, a friend recommend, recommended the CeraVe healing ointment. This is not paraben free. This is a petroleum based product, but it works. So I use it, right? Follow the 80-20 rule. I put this on at night right before I go to bed, um, right when I get into bed. And this has helped my feet totally. Um, there's hardly any like dry spots or cracks or calluses, which is a huge difference from last year when I'm out in the pool a lot. Um, so yeah, this one I recommend. I use it on my nail beds too. But for the feet, I've noticed a big, big difference. You can only get it, I think, in this huge tub, which lasts forever. Then the last thing people complain to me about is their pedicures. They don't want to mess them up, which, like, I get it. You spend a lot of money on pedicures. I love color straight nails. This is actual, these are really boring. This one's clear. But I use these in the summer instead of going, well, I never go to get my pedicures done. I haven't gone to get a pedicure probably since I left corporate America in 2003. <laughs> but now I do this. And why I love Color Street is it's actual nail polish, but it's already put on kind of like old school Lee press on nails, but it's not a fake nail. It's just the polish, but you put it on the same way. You take off these little strips, you put them on your nails, and then you just um, sand off the excess. These stay on for like four weeks through all my pool workouts, sand at the beach, open water swimming. I love Color Street. It's super inexpensive. It's like $13. Hi, Abby. It's like $13 for a pack. Um, you get them online, Color Street. Um, I love this. So in the winter, honestly, I don't do that much with my nails. I should just because it makes me feel fancy. But in the summer, I love it because I can go to the pool. I don't have to worry about the stuff peeling off. It takes like four weeks for them to start chipping. And then you just take it off like normal nail polish and do another one. And there's all kinds of fun colors. So that's my last tip is if you find that the pool is drying on your skin and that's one reason that you're not using um, water aerobics or other pool oriented cardio when you should be, try these products. If you're just tuning in, go back and check them out. They've helped a lot with keeping my skin um, soft and moisturized and not feeling the effects of the chlorine. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please share it, all you swimmers out there. If you haven't tried swimming, then go for it. It's really great for you for mobility, resistance training and cardio training and make it a great weekend. I'll see you here next week.